the truth of why sumo wrestlers can't drive. If you hear that sumo wrestlers aren't allowed to drive, you might assume that it's because they're too fat and can't fasten their seatbelts or something. However, the truth is something completely different. It is actually because many sumo wrestlers have caused traffic accidents in the past. There were exceptionally large numbers of accidents in 1985 caused by sumo wrestlers. And in 1999 and 2000, there were even some fatal accidents. The Sumo Association believes that wrestlers need to be respected and loved by the people, so there must not be any scandals. In order to realize this, they prohibited active sumo wrestlers from driving altogether. Therefore, many sumo wrestlers get their license right before they retire, and driving seems to be a post-retirement pleasure for them. If you'd like to learn more about Japanese culture, Kyoto, and social problems in Japan, please check out my channel and subscribe.